you know very well geography play a very vital role in your prelims examination as well as in your mains examination welcome dear student i am kanaiya jha and in this session we will discuss about geography you know very well geography play a very vital role in your prelims examination as well as in your mains examination as far as prelims examination is concerned so you know very well on the basis of facts usually questions comes so it is very uh, difficult even it becomes very difficult for the students to memorize such information and here in examination what happens it usually confuses a student which option is correct and which option is incorrect so in this session we decode we learn how to cover the information particularly you know the map world map portion in geography is the area from where usually question comes so in this session we learn how to prepare the questions based on the map and here i have selected for this discussion particularly rivers you know it well river are one of the most frequent topic in our uh, prelims examination usually one or two question comes from this topic world rivers and why the question are quite frequent so if we talks about river so look here river basically a uh, supports life supports civilization and that is why it is called river are called the cradles of civilization you know very well even our indus valley civilization mesopotamia it was in iraq like similarly the uh, nile uh, egyptian civilization flourished near the river and river supported not only their suppose drinking water uh, facilities but also agriculture transportation communication were based on the river so that is why the potential the significance of river is quite well known so when you take river when you read river suppose here i am drawing some aspect of river that which uh, or what should keep in mind while interacting with rivers so look here basically a river uh if we consider river so there are several aspect related with river some are related with physical aspect some are related with political aspect we will learn uh, thoroughly one by one with slide but here you should keep in mind some aspect like suppose physical aspect of river as far as concerned so river usually rises from particular points it may be a mountain it may be a lake like you know very well nile river in africa originates from two different lakes it is the victoria lake as well as the tana lake and when the white nile and the blue nile merges with each other it forms the nile river so we should keep in mind the place from where it originates again there after we should keep in mind some taro, uh, some tributaries like suppose this is a river so in that case which river which tributary joins this head stream from its uh, right hand side from its left hand side is there any information that 
uh, is associated that is related with tributary so we also cover like suppose if there is any waterfall so in that case we should cover the waterfall about the waterfall as well thereafter we should check the uh, mouth of that river is it a delta delta you know very well delta uh, is the geographical feature that refers the mouth of uh, the river and it is result of the sedimentation of alluvium near the mouth of the river so is it delta or is it estuary you know estuary and delta both are quite different delta are result of the deposition of the sediment while estuary is the mouth of river where usually what happens so uh, the sea wave sea wave what happen what does so sea wave uh, deposits all such sediment and it becomes very narrow mouth of the river so no such delta forms again if delta is there so you know delta are of different type like mississippi missouri in north america forms the bird foot delta similarly uh, the ural river in asia forms the uh, the digitate delta that is the tree shaped delta similarly the elbe river of germany or tiber river of the rome uh, the italy forms the uh, forms the cuspid delta so here if delta then we should must understand the form of delta with some information now as far as the political aspect related with river is concerned so we should not only collect information about the physical aspect of a river but also you should uh, study you should keep in mind the city suppose it is the capital city so in that case uh, it will be a question like suppose there may be a question match the list a with the list b so if you are aware with the river and the coastal city you can handle that information very easily you know very well most of the popular city like uh, uh, you know uh, it is washington dc the capital of the united states of america so it is located on the bank of which river it is the potomac river again uh, new york city of america hudson river again uh, like suppose here uh, we take a uh, example about the southeast asian country so uh, bangkok is located on the bank of chao phraya similarly most of the popular city in the world have uh, like germany so berlin is the capital of germany and it is located on the bank of spree river so what is the thing here these are the very frequent popular questions with the river and we must cover the popular city along with the river i will show you how to handle these information one by one with the uh pictures with the information again suppose if there any dam multi purpose dam have been created has been created by the uh, uh the government in that case it may be a question it will be part of our prelims examination you know very well dam is being constructed to hold water and reservoir back side to this dam supports irrigation drinking water again it uh, supports the electricity hydel electricity generation so this way here if we are dealing with a river we should keep in mind five or sir the reason of that river so also that of the that river रिवर 
uh, country have demarcated most of the country in the world have demarcated their political territory means river serves as an international boundary between two or more country how so you know when we fit it as a sali river sali or mahakali or sarda river it serves as a border between the nepal and india particularly uttarakhand region you know similarly a river rio grande is there in north america so this river rio grande separates united states of america from mexico so if suppose international boundary had been demarcated along with the river it will be a potential question so we should learn river in the way to uh, handle to collect all such information now for example i am taking here some river of africa as well as other uh, country so here suppose we are taking reading the rivers of africa so there are several rivers how can we uh about all such river so it will be very difficult so we should keep in mind only few river particularly with respect to a continent only few river countable river is there so in africa only four or five river is important for prelims examination and you will get that idea by going through the previous year question usually questions comes from in particularly state examination the uh, very repetitive questions are from the same river so if we take africa only five rivers are significant here like suppose nile river this way nile river is there and nile river we will discuss more about that again jambezi river here limpopo river again congo river volta river if we say these are the four or five river and we should keep in mind information about that we may handle the question in prelims examination very well now i am providing you how should or how can we collect the information first we should go through with atlas okay we should open atlas and i suggest you you should purchase atlas it is oxford student atlas okay now open this page open africa you will find there that in blue color blue color this way river stream will be depicted on the paper so here we can identify with this map that uh, the nile river nile river originates so nile river the term nile river comes after khartu head stream is called nile river only after khartu so what or earlier so here what happens lake tana lake tana is located in ethiopia and from where blue nile blue nile rises and blue nile reaches up to the khartu meanwhile one more river uh from this lake victoria rises this way and it is white nile and white nile reaches to khartum khartum is the capital of the country sudan now this uh blue nile and the white nile join each other and head stream forms and this head stream is called the nile river now Nile River drains into Mediterranean Sea. This area near the city Cairo, that is in Egypt, and here it forms a delta. We can identify this delta. It is the Arqua Delta. Now, on the basis of this map, we can answer several question. Now, suppose question may be White Nile rises from which lake? it is obvious that white nil rises from this lake victoria blue nil rises from which river lake tana 
uh, on which place blue and white uh, join each other it is khartoum and thereafter it called the nile river so this way we can handle most of the question if we have the uh, clear cut uh, uh, clear cut identification of the locations now again uh, if some more information uh, required so in class we will discuss more information like suppose major dam so on this river you know very well nile river is the world longest river longest means the length of that river is maximum in the world it is not largest region river reason behind that amount of water quantity of water is quite less than a major here that is why it is longest only one more thing here we should keep in mind that it crosses about eight country but uh, here the interesting fact in the euro a river it is danube that crosses more than eight eight country that is about nine or 10 so these are the other additional facts now as far as dam is concerned so to utilize the potential of this river to harness the potential of this river several country have constructed dam over this uh, like in egypt it is the aswan dam and it is aswan dam and lake nasir so egypt uh, began construction of dam over this river and you can even identify this on the atlas again here senal dam so senal dam has created by sudan on blue nile as for senal dam as for sudan now owen dam owen dam have created has created by uganda on white nile so this way three earlier dam was on the nile river recently what happens so this country ethiopia decided that they will utilize they will harness the potential of blue nile and they demanded their share fair share so they started construction this great ethiopian renaissance dam and this will be the largest dam in the africa now earlier it was in news why so if this dam will be created it will be the largest dam of africa and if it happens it to me it may impede impede or hinder the flow of blue nile and thereafter uh, what happens so it lead to famine in the other country other region so this is the picture of the great uh, ethiopian renaissance dam and it is under construction and this is the scenery of the nile river you can see this way it passes through sahara desert and it creates oasis like condition so if we suppose collect information in the way that will uh, be suppose entertaining or it is very enjoying in that case this will no longer be a fact so we should learn this way that facts become our uh, our suppose uh, point of interest similarly here the other river of africa is congo or jaire so you know very well jaire is the river this way this way uh flow so here what happens it is the very famous river why so this river crosses equator the line of equator twice so that is why usually oceans comes with this river one more interesting fact here uh that here uh, it is the world deepest river means it passes through a very hilly plateau region and it has created the deep gorges or valley there again uh, here what happens so a dam inga dam is located earlier it was constructed so this way uh, as far as the origin is concerned so this river 
actually uh, takes water from uh, the equatorial rainforest region and here no identified the uh, source there but it drains into atlantic ocean and meanwhile kinsasa the capital of congo is located there again so this way inga dam is there on this congo river now uh, there is proposal recently china has uh, proposed this uh, country that is the congo that they will construct dam over this congo river and in future it will have potential to generate the electricity and if it will would be it will be the world largest dam so that is going on uh, no final decision have been taken yet now come to the next river it is our congo uh, jambeji river jambeji river one of the most popular river in the world jambeji river rises from katanga plateau earlier upsc also asked question on this katanga plateau katanga plateau in uh, africa is considered as mineral rich area it is endowed with uranium copper even bauxite are there so it rises from this part and thereafter making border between zambia and zimbabwe it drains into the mozambique channel part of indian ocean near the coast of mozambique now this river is the largest river of africa that drains into the indian ocean the very first fact second fact very interesting fact what happens a british explorer it was living stone so when living stone attempted to explore the hinterland of africa they reached near this part this is the waterfall and he identify first this waterfall on jambeji river this waterfall later he named after the queen victoria so that is called victoria fall an interesting fact here this waterfall is considered as the world largest waterfall in terms of volume of water there extent so that is the story now here suppose this kind of water fall is there so it uh, it offers a very natural natural uh, conditions for the development of hydro electricity so what happens what happens uh the government of zimbabwe and zambia decided that why not this potential of river should be utilized for people's well being it happened and here kariba dam were constructed now interesting fact is there kariba dam and the kariba lake is over zambezi river more interesting fact kariba dam on jambeji river is considered as the world largest man made reservoir it has reserved the uh, millions of liter water millions of gallon water and that is why it becomes the world largest man made reservoir that is the story again thereafter uh, Moj- uh, thereafter mozambique also with support of portuguese constructed a dam here that is lake kabura basa so these are some facts and we can easily uh, understand we can easily suppose handle such a fact if we deal information with this interesting way okay now one more river volta river it is also a river belongs to africa volta river uh is the principal river of this country ghana ghana you know very well ghana is famous for the production of coffee cocoa so this lake volta is very notable here reason behind it here the country ghana constructed have constructed a dam that is also called 
the Volta Dam or Oppo Sombo Dam. And what is interesting? So, as per the geographical extent, it becomes the world largest man-made reservoir. So that is world largest man-made reservoir by an area. The Lake Volta Okusumbu on Volta Lake. So similarly, uh, you can collect information on the basis of their pictures, on the basis of their uh, related information. So after that, it will convert into point of interest or your, you can say, the concept. So that will help full in your examination. Now here, now see this picture. This resembles, this appears as a bird foot. So here the river stream is this. And this is the delta along with the distributary channels of a river. So this question, that is, uh, this river is Mississippi, Missouri of the North America. You know, Mississippi, Missouri is the principal river of North America. And here, when it enters, drains into the, uh, the Gulf of Mexico, it creates a very, uh, very we can say, fascinated, fascinating delta that is called the Birdfoot Delta. So, it is the only river in the world known for its unique delta, Birdfoot Delta. This is the flow of Mississippi River. So, after getting this idea, we may, we may cover more points like suppose Mouth Gulf of Mexico. Again, the origin is it is not very clear, but people say that Lake Itasca is the principal source of this river. Again, the tributary. So here, Missouri is the tributary of this river. Again, it is known for the Birdfoot Delta. So we can collect easily information if we read this way. Okay, the purpose of this class is that to uh, provide you how to go through with the information by analyzing additional facts, by understanding the locations, pictures, you can handle that factual information uh, for a longer period of human time. Okay, now St. Lawrence River. St. Lawrence River, you know very well, it is one of the busiest river in the world. And here, Lake Ontario is there. So, you know very well, in America, there are five interconnected lakes. These are Superior, even Huron, Erie, Ontario, and Michigan Lake. So, the last and the smallest lake is Erie Lake. Erie Lake rises, give birth a river that is called St. Lawrence River. And you know very well, St. Lawrence River has played a very vital role in the development of the America and Canada. Earlier, European utilized this river for trade and transport. And that is why, at present, most of the uh, big city, mega city of Canada, whether it is Quebec, whether it is Montreal, whether it is Ottawa, all located on the bank of this St. Lawrence River. Again, St. Lawrence River, River offers connectivity from this Lake Ontario up to St. Lawrence. So one can easily enter into the mainland part of uh, North America through this river. So these are the things. Again, by uh, showing this picture, by seeing this picture, we can identify that it forms the international boundary between the US. This part, yellow colored part is of United States of America, while this part is of Canada. So what happens here? So this creates, this makes the boundary between the America and the United States of uh, America and the Canada. So here, what we learn? So the thing is that if we learn the river in this way, 
we not only able to solve the river based question but also additional question like suppose name of the cities on the bank of particular river we can easily handle name of the dam dam uh, on the bank of the river so this way we should learn the map based uh, aspect of the geography so in geography you know map play vital role as i said earlier okay so we will go through uh we will discuss we will learn geography through this way in our classes so all the best all of you thanks for watching